with T quilts and I'm here to do mail call for the month of June I have received two things this month I have a card here and then I also have this box so I am going to open the card first <laughs> and this is from Claudette Bettis and it is a sympathy card for me losing my brother the past week and it says dear t sorry to hear about the loss of your brother tony from claudette bettis anaheim california and the card says may friends comfort you faith uphold you and loving memories heal your heart so thank you so much claudette i really appreciate that i have been saying all of the condolences on my youtube and facebook pages i have not been responding to those i probably will not be responding to those because uh it was a hard thing to go through and i am not at the place where i can deal with each of those individually but i do want to say thank you to everyone that send your condolences i really appreciate that so thank you for that for sending it to me in the mail as well i appreciate that so we have one more thing to open and this is from miss joan e elkins from hendersonville tennessee so let's open the box oh my it's a lot of stuff <laughs> okay so i'll just start with what's on top She's got Southern Poverty Law Center, Fighting Hate, Teaching Tolerance, Seeking Justice. So I have a sticker here. Her letter is a thank you card and she says, T, I don't design cards, I repurpose them. Here are a few bits and bolts, I guess, that came from me and some of my mom's things for you to play with or give away. Thanks for all you do. For all us quilters, you are an inspiration. I am trying to downsize by organizing my scraps. Definitely this year's project for all of us. Then I find new fabric. Have fun with this little toy box. Love, Joan. Well, thank you, Joan, so much. Appreciate your card. And I do like recycle things as well. So she has a kit here that's simply beads. I've never seen this before. And then they've got the bead findings in here that I can actually make some bracelets. So that's pretty cool. I have seen bracelets like this that someone gave to me. And I wonder if they made them. They didn't say. And then, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cute. Some pattern for crochet socks. So some different things to be crocheted. Look like little house shoe footies. Not socks, I'm sorry. This is the Tutu Notions Holder Pin Cushion with, for Wide Mouth Mason Jars. I've seen these but never done anything with that. So let me see if I can find the part that came with this. Okay. So I don't see it yet. So I'll keep looking here. But we got some fabrics. This one has arrows. I love getting new fabric into my stash. This one's burgundy and white. Oh, got butterflies. That's really pretty. See who this butterfly print is from. It says blue notes. Sold for non-commercial home use only. And it's from David Textiles. Very pretty. Oh, got some chicken wire fabric. That's pretty. And some gray fabric with sparkles that are in a bag. But I'm going to take it out so you can see the sparkles. Very pretty. I 
I remember having some of this fabric a long time ago. <laughs> and then another piece of fabric. <laughs> And then she sent me some sandpaper. We talked about this before where I make my own little um, sand boards. I'll just glue this to a file folder and then I'll have my sand board. And she sent 400, 600 grit. There's a tape measure in here that goes up to 60 inches long. How to... See if I can get that to focus. <laughs> and then she also sent some pin mowers. I actually use these a lot when I had, when I basted my uh, quilt tops together. I would put these on my safety pins. So that's pretty cool. And so we got one more bag here. This bag. So. Oh, so she's. This is the tutu thing, and she's got this jar filled. So I guess I must have saw something else. In this area here, you can put bobbins in here, and then you can also stick pins into the top. Now that's gorgeous. And let me see what else is in here. This is pretty cool. I don't have one of these. So it's got some lace. All kinds of trims are in here. So yeah, all kind of trims, ribbon. I see a tape measure. So that's pretty cool. That's going to be fun. Thank you so much because I didn't know it actually fit this large size of a jar. I thought it would be like the one that was half this size. So that's pretty cool. And this is the last thing in the bag. Have magic fiber. I don't know what this is, so this will be fun. It's premium microfiber cloth set. Okay, so it's seven cloth sets. And they go for, they're kind of like the things that you use to clean your glasses and your lenses. So that's what this is. So that's very cool. Very nice. Thank you. And still got this bag here. Got buckle. Quite a few of those. Quite a few D rings. And even got a small micro precision tip applicator bottle I use this a lot for my sewing machine oil especially on my long arm because I can get in to those little tiny areas where I'm trying to oil and I also use it for glue in my paper crafting has some scotch tape it's waterproof stretchy tape I've never used waterproof stretchy tape before come on Okay, so there we go. It finally zoomed in. And looks like just one more thing here. Oh, it's a guardian angel. That's really sweet. I definitely need a guardian angel. And I'm sure this is going to be so tiny to zoom in. But there you go. Very nice. So I do need a guardian angel. And how fitting that it was the last thing that I pulled out. So, Joan, you sent quite a bit. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will be able to use all of these things. If not, I will most definitely pass them on. Got some great things here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.